and welcome to the very first episode of how to ep on my channel so before we get into the video thank you so much guys uh for absolutely all the support over all of the platforms that i'm working on twitch youtube discord uh my website just with my ep products it's just, it's just been extremely overwhelming uh over the past months um you know to see uh the growth and just the success and just the overall uh, just you know meeting so many new people and seeing you guys um liking my products and enjoying your time uh with the community that i was able to build up so thank you so much to you guys and uh you can put you you know give yourself a pat on the back for being absolutely fantastic so let's get straight into the video i'm gonna see you guys right there so starting off what you need to install there's two things that you need to install uh first off open iv right here uh, which is basically something we're going to be using or something you, you're going to be using uh, consistently and constantly uh, throughout your time of developing EUP. It is essential to making EUP and is not something you can leave out. So what you need to do is just simply click download now. Um, you click on the EXE file right here. You choose your language and uh, you accept their terms of service. You continue choose a fire location uh, I already have it installed so it won't be but you basically just follow all the steps that is self-explanatory you just like installing uh, absolutely any other um, application on your computer so once you have that installed um, you're gonna be moving on to uh, EUP, the actual EP that you need to install. Uh, just to let you guys know, all these links will be in the description. Uh, you simply click on them and download them. I make it as easy as I possibly can for you guys. So, uh, EP uh, 8.2 is what we can install as it is the latest free version of EP that you can currently get. Uh, there are paid versions uh, up to 9.3 currently. Uh, 9.3 is in beta. So you guys can see the Patreon of Alex Rashford, who is the owner of the EP team. Uh, you can go and uh, purchase the Patreon right there uh, and get the beta for EP 9.3 if you wish to have higher quality models. However, we're going to be installing this one for these uh, educational purposes as it's a lot more uh, easy uh, for everyone to install as it's free. So what you simply do is just click download the file. Uh, you download this top one right here. And once you have it downloaded, uh, go ahead and resume the video again. So here we are. Um, we have it downloaded. Uh, this is what we got right here. Uh, it will either be in a zip file or a WinRAR file, depending on what you guys use to open your .zip files. Uh, however, as you guys can see, we have plugins, README, and uh, the OIV file. So the only one we need out of these is the OIV file. So what you do is just simply take this and you drag it onto your desktop. And easy as that, you close it out and you're done with that. Next thing that you need to do is set up OpenIV. All you do is... Uh, Click Command, Open Open IV. You click on Grand Theft Auto. Now it will not look for you. you no, know, it will not open up for you guys. However, what you guys need to do is locate your GTA directory um, and link it with Open IV. You just simply just follow the steps. Once you hit on Grand Theft Auto 5, um, it will open a little folder. And you just guys, you just gotta link it to your uh, GTA 5 directory, and you'll be fine from there. Now, once you find your GTA 5 directory, it's also important that you do a step that we will need in the future right now, which is creating a mods folder. <clears throat> so, uh, don't worry, this will not break your game. It's simply a mods folder that's essential for OpenIV to work. You just right click on a free space, you hit new folder, and you create mods. But I can't do that right now as I already have a folder called mods. Once you created one, it's empty, make sure it's lowercase, and you're done. You can close that out again and you're all set to go. Now that you're here, uh, this might look a little confusing, but these are all just GTA 5 files, so don't be scared, don't be concerned. It really doesn't matter, you're gonna ignore 99% of these, and only gonna be using one folder in here. Um, so one important thing is, whenever you open OpenIV, please make it a habit to open uh, edit mode and make sure to have it enabled. It, it is essential that you have it enabled to be able to edit files, otherwise OpenIV will not save your changes that you make to certain textures or models. So make sure you have edit mode enabled. Um, next thing that we need to do is we need to install this OIV file which we extracted from that .zip file from the EP that we installed. After that you go to tools at the top, you go to package installer, you locate it on your desktop, you double click it, and right here it will give you the option to install right here, it has a little description here, 
you click install and you make sure that you install it to the mods folder but not to the game folder because if you install it to the game folder it might mess up your game and also it won't work correctly so install it to your mods folder it's really easy just do that once you have that done it will install it i won't because i already have ep 9.2 installed and i don't want a very very old version so i don't really need that right now but you guys do that and uh, once you have that done resume the video now here we are again you have your ep installed you're all happy and you're all set to go well what do you do now well let's get straight to the basics of EUP. You click on mods right here in OpenIV, update, you just follow along the directory. Once you get to this part, you might not see SCP, which you might in your future if you get Patreon from EUP. Well, let me explain what this is. EUP is simply all the uniforms that go for law enforcement and SCP are all the uniforms that go for any other emergency services such as fire rescue, coast guard, or anything that is similar to that. So these are the two different ones. You won't find law enforcement EP in here. You simply won't. Make sure you go to EP instead of SUP. Now you'll see there's a DLC RPF. There will be a lot of RPF files. These are rage package files. They can only be opened through OpenIV with edit mode. So make sure that you have that uh, enabled. Don't try to open RPF files simply on your desktop. It won't work. It will only work through OpenIV files. Now here we are, we're facing three important ones here. Three important RPF files, you have componentpeds.rpf and you have componentpeds.p.rpf. Now, um, the one at the top is what you need. It's just the regular uniforms and the pants and the body armor. This is where you'll find all of that. And under that, the underscore P is everything that belongs on the head. So glasses and hats will be found here. So if you want to edit glasses and hats, you go to underscore p if you want to edit regular uniforms you go to component pads at rpf this is where we're going here we have a huge amount of folders 55 to be exact you have the top half will be mp underscore f and then the bottom will be mp underscore m mp underscore f means it's all female clothing and mp underscore m means it's all male clothing it's pretty self-explanatory right so once you have that it is pretty much not explain well i can't tell you why these guys are called Heist, Xmas, Xmas 2, or Independence. I really couldn't tell you what the story behind all that is. I don't think you need to know. I personally don't want to know because I don't think it will affect you and it will not affect you. I can promise you that. However, it is important that you know the difference between MP underscore M, MP underscore F, and that you know what files are hats and what files are regular uniforms, just like I showed you guys just before we got over here. Now, your buddy got you a texture for a uniform. Uh, let's say here we have a test texture say your buddy got you this texture here and you want to put it on a uniform well how do you do that it's pretty simple uh, I'm gonna tell you guys right now all the regular uniform tops so the short sleeve formal uniform the long sleeve formal uniform and the uniform with a long sleeve and a tie will be found in this folder right here MP uh, underscore M import export underscore R1 um, these are the three files right here these are three models so before I go too far before I get carried away with telling you guys how to replace textures I need to teach you guys the basics so you see this folder right here is split into two sections .ydd files which are models and .ytd files which are textures this will also be outlined in the google docs document which i'll be providing to you guys so you guys can remember this without needing to watch the video over and over again so you can see there's a lot more texture dictionaries than there is models that is good that is a good sign that's how you want it to be so the ydd files let me open one of them right here it is just a simple simple model you can see the texture on it right now because that's how you test it out here I can remove the texture this is a simply the model of the uniforms here's a short sleeve uniform which I use in all my packs here's a long sleeve uniform which I use in all my packs and here's a long sleeve one with a tie which I use in all my packs now let me explain this to you guys so you see these names so jbib let's say we got jbib underscore zero zero um jbib is anything that appears as shirt and overlay in the V menu. Lower is anything that appears as pants 
legs and pants in the V menu. Uh, ACCS, which is the abbreviation for accessory, is anything that appears as shirt and accessory in the V menu. That's something you can keep in the back of your head, just so you know. When you're browsing through this, just so you know, like, if you look at JBib, you're like, oh, this is a shirt. Okay, I know that. And you see lower right here, like, oh, these, you know, these are pants. Let me open that because I need to look for pants. That's kind of so you know uh, that in the back of your head. It's not essential to know, but it's extremely important to know. Um, so every single model has their own name as you can see jbib underscore zero zero four this is a short sleeve uniform for police uh to find the texture for it you scroll down to the texture dictionaries right here and you need to find the identical name so you find jbib underscore diff underscore zero zero four underscore a now you'll see there's a b c there's a d and there's an e there's an f version there's a bunch of these versions now this is the texture numbers. Now imagine this. Imagine you replace A with 1, imagine you replace B with 2, and C with 3, etc. This is basically the texture number that will appear as in game. So texture number A is the first texture that will appear in game. Texture number B is its second texture that will appear in game. Pretty much if you hit enter in game, it will show you the second texture and if you hit enter uh, in game again it will show you the third texture that's kind of what I mean it was second and third texture um, so you can have this many textures if you really wanted for one uniform uh, it goes from A to Z so this is how many textures you can have on one uniform it's extremely important to know that you cannot have two textures in one YTD file not for EP at least for vehicles that will work yes but for EP no way Jose there's no way you can have two textures uh, in one YTD, you can, but it will not work because once you put it in game and you put it on, it will crash your game and it will not work under any circumstance. There's absolutely no way it will ever work. So, extremely important for you guys to know that there's only one texture that goes per one texture dictionary file um, in all of these. So, in uh, OpenIV, uh, only the first texture, so texture number A. Well, letter A will be appearing on the model so when you look at the model only the first texture will appear texture B or texture Z for example won't appear over here as just the way it is uh, but for example you want to test out your first texture you want to see how it looks like you just click on YDD right here and you see it's on the model however do not get fooled your EUP does not look as dog water as it looks on open IV open IV is tricking you it looks horrible in open IV and it will never look good don't get fooled by open IV you just want to make sure that the placement is correct that's what you use open IV for so now that you know you guys know the basics of YTDs and YDDs and what all of that means um, how do I put a texture on well, it was pretty simple uh, before we do that I'm gonna export a texture and show you guys how to do that so we're going to go um, to a random texture here, texture number N. So we have a Rockford Police texture right here. What you do is you click on export all textures. You want to export it as a PNG. And then you want to export it to your desktop. Click out of it. And here you go. We have our texture right here. Here it is. Uh, now. For example, how do I change if I want a texture go that's texture number three to texture number one? Well, you can see this is jbib underscore zero zero four underscore n, meaning it's like the sixteenth texture. For example, well, how do I make it be the first texture? Well, all you do is just rename the file to jbib underscore zero zero four underscore a. This will change it to be the first texture. Now, let me open the ytd file for a. I'm going to go drag this over here, I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to click Save, and boom, it is now the first texture. It is now jbib diff 004a, and it will appear on the model. This is as simple as it is, it really doesn't get any harder than this. This is really easy, exporting textures and importing textures is very easy. Um, now making the actual textures is something I'll get into in a completely different video as this video will be way too long if I do make this uh, all in one. Now I hope that is very easily understandable. You can also change this to B now. You can have the identical texture 
you can have the literally the same texture on A and B if you really wanted to. You can drag this over here right now. B, click save, and it will be on the same texture. This one's not messed up. As you guys can see, you can have two textures on A and B, but you cannot have them in the same YTD file. So that's it for explaining on how to import and export things, uh, how to put things, um, you know, into uh, models and how to put things into YTD texture dictionaries. It is very simple. If you want to then put this in game or put this in LSPDFR, for example, all you do is just drag this file out. You drag it out of OpenIV. Don't worry, it will stay here. You just drag it out. Here, I drag the model and the texture out. I have them on my desktop now. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how to make things 5M ready. 5M ready is extremely easy, but for the, for some reason, it's extremely hard for people to understand. Now, as you guys can see, we have all these folders right here. Okay, we just dragged these pieces of EP out of the import and export folder. We just dragged them out of here. This is this is the model. Remember, this is the same model. You go over here. What you do is you copy name. You copy the folder name. You go to rename this texture. You go to the very front. You paste it in there so the folder name is there and you add this little sign right here this needs to be added it is uh, tilde and it's on the top left of your keyboard depending on what kind of language keyboard you have and that's it you do the same for the texture in the front you copy that in there and you add tilde and boom you're done your, your EP is now 5m ready all you need to do is drag this in your EP stream now and your 5M ready EP is can be used instantly and it's no big issue. I won't be putting this in game now and telling you guys, wow, look, this is a result because I don't need to prove it to you guys because you guys are watching this video because I hope you guys trust me with what I'm telling you. So it's as easy as that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, please, uh, or in my Discord. There's so many questions I want to answer. I want to make it easier for everyone to understand his EP. Um, it is a hard thing. It seems like an easy thing. Everybody's like, oh, you just recolor things. Like, it's it's really not. If you want to make good quality things, you need to work for it. So, that's basically how it is. That's the end of episode number one of How to EP. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have absolutely any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Or ask me in Discord. Join my Discord down below. If you want to purchase any of my packs, feel free to do so on olimar.com. Uh, currently, there's a 25% off until the end of today, um, uh, well, when this video is dropping, so make sure you cop that. But thanks so much, guys, for tuning in today. It was your boy, Oliam R, and I'm going to be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace out.